I think everybody just needs to stop and realize that bow leaving is the way to go. Hello, wrestling fans and trivia buffs. I'm Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting with the Wyatt Six. Followed by WCW Valets. Up next, we have WWF Gang Wars. And then we go and check out some Superstar Inc. And last but certainly not least, Alter Egos. And these are going to be about wrestlers who kind of have a screw loose if you smell what I'm cooking. Do you, you think, think you're special? special? So let's kick things off with the 200 point jobber round, the easiest round in wrestling Jeopardy. Can you answer all five of these questions correctly or will you totally embarrass yourself? Uh -oh. Here comes the first clue from the Wyatt Six. Before his untimely passing, the late Bray Wyatt planned to form a new family of wrestlers portraying real life versions of the puppets from this bizarre children's TV show. And the correct answer here, what is the Firefly Funhouse? Moving on to WCW Valets for 200. Name this valet for Diamond Dallas Page. And that right there is the former Mrs. DDP, Kimberly, aka the Diamond Doll, who had a memorable cameo appearance in Steve Carroll's The 40-Year-Old Virgin. <laughs> Here comes the 200 point clue from Gang Wars. Among the original members of this gang were Farouk, JC Ice, Wolfie D, and D Lo Brown. And the correct answer who were the Nation of Domination? Now we're on to Superstar Inc. for two. Name this tattooed superstar. And that, of course, is the beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow. And let's finish up the 200-point round with Alter Egos. This was the name of Bray Wyatt's Alter Ego. And that would be The Fiend. <laughs> well, hopefully you squashed that jobber round. But now things are going to be getting a little bit more difficult as we kick off the 400 point round, heading back to the Wyatt Six category. Eric Rowan carries a hammer in tribute to the late Brody Lee and their time together as this tag team. And they were called the Bludgeon Brothers. We're on to WCW Valets for 400. Name this valet for the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And that right there is Gorgeous George. And that brings us to Gang Wars for 400. Los Bariquas were a gang of wrestlers who represented this Caribbean island. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I never know what to say, but the correct answer is Puerto Rico, which of course is the shining star of the Caribbean or Caribbean. English, in English, please. In English. Listen to me right now. Here comes another clue from Superstar Inc. Name this tattooed superstar. And those four dates are the birthdays of AJ Styles kids. And here comes the final clue from round two. This is the name of Finn Balor's alter ego. And the correct answer, what is the demon? Wait a minute, who are you? What do you say we move on to the 600 point round, but first, hopefully you like my Bob Barker old school microphone. Don't boo, I think it encourages you. If you're having a good time enjoying yourself, make sure you subscribe and hit that ringy dingy notification icon bell 
so you get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy or whenever we post new content. So we're on to the third clue from the Wyatt Six. Dexter Loomis portrays Mercy the Buzzard, whose name is derived from this WWF New Generation wrestler. Formerly known as the Golden Boy Danny Spivey during the new generation era of the 90s, he was called Waylon Mercy. You know what I mean? It's time to look at some more WCW valets for 600. Name this valet for stunning Steve Austin. Another former wife, this is Lady Blossom, a.k.a. Jeannie Clark. Moving on to Gang Wars 4 600, Ron and Don Harris shaved their heads and were repackaged into Skull and 8-Ball as members of this biker gang faction. The correct answer, who were the Disciples of Apocalypse or DOA? And that brings us to another look at some Superstar Inc. for 600. Name this Tattooed Superstar. No, it's not the Brahma Bull of the Rock. It is the Prize Fighters Bull. The correct answer here, who is Kevin Owens? And let's finish up the 600 point round. This was the name of Gregory Helms's alter ego. And the correct answer here, stand back, there's a hurricane coming through. Who in the green hell are you? All right, we're more than halfway done. Let's go back to the 800 point round and check out this clue from the Wyatt Six. <laughs> Well, this clue is going to be worth certainly more than 800 because it's the Daily Double. So think about how much you know about this new faction and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double clue. The group pays tribute to their namesake in many ways, including using Bray Wyatt's former entrance theme, Shatter, by this band. And the correct answer, who is Code Orange? And that brings us to WCW Valets for 800. Name this valet for the maestro. Known as Ryan Shamrock in WWE. The correct answer here, who is Symphony? And we're moving on to WWF Gang Wars for 800. Before being replaced by the Jackal, this person was the original leader of the Truth Commission. And the Jackal, of course, is Don Callis. No relation to Kevin J. Callis, but the correct answer here is this random dude from South Africa. He was called the Commandant. And we're on to the second to last clue from Superstar Inc. Name this tattooed superstar. Now, if you got this wrong, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. The correct answer, who is Wade Barrett? And let's close out the 800 point round. This was the name of Abyss's alter ego. The correct answer, who is Joseph Park? Wow. So this is the impact zone. And we've reached the most challenging round of Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. Some may call it the main event, but either way, if you think you're a diehard wrestling fan, this round is designed to put your knowledge to the test. Let's do this. So let's kick things off with the final clue from the Wyatt Six. At the end of the Bray Wyatt Becoming Immortal documentary, 
the WWE teased the return of Uncle Howdy by launching an alternate reality game nicknamed this. And that ARG was called Nightbird. And we're on to the final clue from WCW Valets. Name this valet for Kiwi. You may recognize her as Booker T's wife, Charmel. However, in WCW, she was called Paisley. Moving on to the final clue from Gang Wars, this gang leader made his only ever pay-per-view main event appearance at In Your House, No Way Out of Texas in 1998, replacing an injured Shawn Michaels in an eight-man tag team match. You could just hear the crowd let out a collective groan when Savio Vega was announced as the mystery partner. And that brings us to the final clue from Superstar Inc. Kids, avert your eyes. Name this tattooed superstar. Now those bear claws certainly got uh, stretched out after giving birth to Birdie and Buddy, but still the correct answer here, who is Brie Bella? And let's close out the board with the final clue. This is from Alter Egos for a thousand. This is the name of Jushin Liger's Alter Ego. And the correct answer, the maniacal Kishin Liger. So there you go, 25 clues down, but it's Final Jeopardy time. So let's find out what this episode's category is. Start your engines. Boogity, 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 start your engines because the relationship between pro wrestling and motorsports has always seemed like a match in the ring and on the track. All right, now is your chance to finish this race with the checkered flag waving. You're in first place, but first you have to place your wager for Final Jeopardy now. All right, time is up. Here is the clue. During their 2009 feud, Kofi Kingston vandalized Randy Orton's NASCAR stock car by dumping this color of paint all over its hood. Good luck. During their 2009 feud, Kofi Kingston vandalized Randy Orton's NASCAR stock car by dumping this color of paint all over its hood. And the correct answer here, aren't you glad you got this question right? Hopefully, what is orange? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe because my name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.